So Terry, if you'll play D minor seven, I'll play the bracketed red colored ones. D minor, A minor, and E minor. D minor, please, Terry. Okay, that's our basic sound for the first three triads in red. Now I'll do the same three triads, but I'll make a little music out of them. And sometimes I won't get a chance to spell the exact triad, but I will pick notes from those triads. One more time, Terry. D minor, please. Okay, that was D minor, A minor, E minor, all interwoven between themselves over D minor 7. Now let's take the triads that are on top, and you can hear those. Those would be the F major, C major, and G major triad. D minor once more. They all make sense, don't they? You can hear how they relate to the D minor. Now I'd like to play for you from the bottom row just the three triads that we had, and I'll jam. I'll play on those chords. It'll just be D minor, A minor, and E minor. One, two, three. Now I'd like to play on all six chords, and this will just be a conglomerate of all the sounds you've heard individually right now. One, two, three. I feel good that that's a good example of my triadic approach to playing. I really spelled them out for you in order. Da 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 da. You can pick them out very easily.